So again guys, in this next problem, we have here, if the specific weight of a liquid is 58.5 pound force per cubic feet, what is most nearly the specific volume of the liquid in cubic centimeters per gram? So the specific volume here, we have the volume of the fluid, we have here liquid, so all over its mass. Now, ang given lang natin dito is specific weight. So, ang specific weight natin, that is density G. We can say that the density is equal to specific weight all over G. This concept here for specific volume can be expressed as 1 all over M all over V. So, basically, this is the same thing as this. So this is equal. But M over V here is just your density. So, this is just equal to your 1 all over density. That's why we need to find the density of the fluid or the liquid using this concept. So, the density is given by specific weight from the problem. You have here 58.5 pound force per cubic feet. So, 58.5 pound force per cubic feet feet okay all over you have this g so for english unit of course you're adding g acceleration due to gravity is 32.2 you have here feet per second squared so if you forgot this constant here okay can you can always go back to si so for si so g natin is 9.81 meters per second squared so you just need to convert this meter to feet by using the conversion 1 meter equals 3.28 feet okay so if you forgot this constant go back to the si then convert that to feet then we have here 58.5 pound force per cubic feet divided by g so g is 32.2 feet per second squared okay now here as we can see hindi consistent yung unit natin Okay, so you need to incorporate your gravitational constant. So we need to remove, okay, we need to remove this unit na pound force. So multiply tayo ng gravitational constant. This is conversion again. So we have here one pound force, okay. So you cancel natin yung pound force. So siya dapat yung nasa denominator. So this is 32.2 pound mass, okay, feet per second squared. So you need to always remember this constant, the gravitational constant. Okay, GC is very important. Now here, mag-cancel na yung mga units natin. Except, okay, except for pound mass and cubic feet. Okay, this is cancel out. Then we have here feet, okay, will cancel here. And second squared also will cancel Ang remaining unit natin is pound mass per cubic feet. So density is equal to, you have here 58.5 pound mass per cubic feet. Therefore, your specific volume is equal to 1 over density. So we have this 1 all over 58.5. And let's just switch the unit. So this becomes cubic feet per pound of mass. Now, ang ating volume here, specific volume, ang required natin sa problem is, ang unit niya is in cubic cm per grams. So, we need to convert this cubic feet to cubic cm and pound mass to grams. So, using the unit conversion factors, so 1 over 58. So, huwag na muna natin siyang i-decimal for consistency. So, this is 1 over 58 cubic feet per pound mass so let's convert this cubic feet to cubic cm okay one meter so this is 3.28 feet so we need to raise this to three because this is in cubic then yung cubic meter natin we also need to cancel that out so we need to convert that to centimeters so we have here 100 cm per one meter and also raise that to three okay so, cubic feet here will cancel out, meter will cancel out, leaving here cubic cm. Now, the next uh, thing to do is to convert this pound mass into grams. So, for pound mass, we have here 
2.2, okay, 2.2046 pound mass per, you have your 1 kilogram of mass. So you need to also convert this kilogram to grams, okay? So you have here 1 kilogram of mass per 1,000 grams, okay? So this is a consistent unit. So converted na siya lahat. This is in cubic cm per grams. Okay, so this is in cubic cm per grams. Okay, because this will all cancel out except for cubic cm and grams here. So cubic feet here will cancel out. So pound mass here will cancel. And meters here will cancel out also. Kilogram mass will cancel, leaving you have your cubic cm per gram. So that's the importance of the use of unit conversion in solving any problem in engineering sciences. So you need to familiarize all those unit conversion. So this is equal to, round off na natin siya, we have here 1.068 cubic cm per grams. Now guys, let's proceed to our last problem. So in this problem guys, we have your two liquids of different densities. So the first fluid is 1,500 kilograms per cubic meter and the second fluid density is 500 kilograms per cubic meter. Pour together into a 100 liters tank, filling it so filled siya. If the resulting density of the mixture is 800 kilograms per cubic meter, find the respective quantities of liquid use that is mass. Also find the weight of the mixture at G equals 9.675 meters per second squared. So, ang first required natin, guys, for letter E. So, let's say M1 and M2. So, the mass of those two substances that are poured out. Then, the weight of the mixture. So, that is your total weight of the mixture. Going back to the concept, okay, density 1, okay, density 1 is M1 over V1, okay, for this first fluid here. So, density 2 is M2 over V2. So, the total mass of the substance inside the tank, okay, M sub T. So, total mass is equal to mass 1 plus mass 2. Therefore, so the total density of the substance inside the tank is the total mass all over the total volume. Here, given tayo ng total volume, that is 100 liters. So, this is V sub T here, 100 liters. So, here the tank is filled. Therefore, we have here the total volume equals V1 plus V2 because it's stated in the problem that it is filled. So, the total volume will be the volume of the first fluid plus the volume of the second fluid. So, using... The concept of this total mass, we have here the total mass of the substance is equal to M1 plus M2. Okay, therefore, we have here, so for M sub T, total mass, that is just density T times volume T. So this is density, total density times total volume equals, okay, density 1, volume 1 plus density 2, volume 2. We all know that density total is given density 1 is given, density 2 is given, and total volume is given. We have here 100 liters. So total density is equal to, we have here the density of the mixture is 800 kilograms per cubic meter. So disregard na muna natin guys yung unit dito because magka-cancel out lang naman siya both sides. So we have here 800 times total volume. So total volume natin is 100 liters. So this is times 100 liters so total volume equals so density 1 is given by 1500 kilograms per cubic meter so this is 1500 times v1 plus we have this density 2 that is 500 kilograms per cubic meter so this is 500 times v sub 2 total volume natin that is 100 liters equals so v1 plus v2 so therefore, V2 equals 100 liters minus V1, okay, using this concept. So we can substitute this to this equation, leaving one variable, one equation. So we have here 800 times 
100 liters equals 1,500 V1 plus 500 times V2 natin. This is 100 liters minus V sub 1. So this is 100 liters minus V sub 1. Can we consult for V sub 1 here? So this is so 800 times 100 liters. So this is so 80,000. We have here 80,000 liters equals. So we have here 1,500 V1 plus. So we have the year 500 times 100. So that is 50,000 liters minus 500 V sub 1. In here. So, 1,500 V sub 1 minus 500 V sub 1. So, this becomes 1,000 V sub 1. And simplify this. So, 80,000 liters. So, minus. Minus natin siya. Transpose natin to the other side. So, this becomes 50,000 liters. Therefore, this becomes 30,000 liters. You have here 1,000 equals 1,000 V sub 1. Therefore, V sub 1 equals, so divide both sides by 1,000. So this becomes, so 30,000 divided by 1,000. So this is 30 liters. Okay, that is V sub 1. Therefore, V sub 2 equals, from this concept again, 100 liters. So 100 liters minus V sub 1. So this is 100 liters minus 30 liters. You have here, V sub 2 is 70 liters. Now we have the volume. We can find the mass. Okay. So M1 equals density 1 times V1. So density 1 natin is given by 1,500. Okay. 1,500 kilograms per cubic meter. Okay. V1 natin is 30 liters. So 30 liters is... Not a consistent unit since this is cubic meter. So we need to convert again liters to cubic meter. Concept is that we have here 1 cubic meter. That is 1,000 liters. So this is a unit conversion. So this will again cancel out. Liters will cancel out here. Cubic meters will cancel out leaving a unit of kilogram of mass. So we have here M1. So, M1, 45 kilograms. So, M1 is 45 kilogram of mass. So, solving for M2, okay, M2 is equal to density 2 times volume 2 again. So, M2 is equal to, so given natin density 2 is 500, you have here kilograms per cubic meter. So, V2, 70 liters converting this this becomes so one cubic meter per 1000 liters okay so this cancels out here cubic meter will cancel out leaving again kilogram so m sub 2 is equal to so m sub 2 is 35 kilograms so these are the constituent fluids so this is the mass of the first fluid, 45 kilograms, and the mass of the second fluid is 35 kilograms. So let's find the other required parameter, that is the weight of the mixture. So lastly, we're going to find the weight, okay, the weight of the mixture. So this is the total weight of the substance inside the tank. So the total mass of the substance is mass 1 plus mass 2. So M1 is 45 kilogram mass plus we have here 35 kilogram of mass as we have solved before so the weight of the substance that is the total weight of the substance inside the tank the weight of the mixture is given by we have here total mass times g so our g here is 9.675 meters per second squared so we have this so 45 kilograms plus 35 kilograms this is 80 kilogram of mass so this is 80 kilograms times you have here 9.675 meters per second squared so you can convert this to newton so one newton so it doesn't matter if you put this so i just you now include this gravitational constant so this is one kilogram 
meter per second squared. So all will cancel out except for newton. So this is in newtons. So this is equal to 7, 7, 4 newton. So this is our final answer for this last problem. Hey guys, so if you like this video, just click the subscribe button and notification bell so that you'll get notified on our future videos just like this one. Just click here.